North Elementary. We are not going to clap for each student. We'll clap at the end. Make sure you're using your listening ears, please. No clapping in between at the end. Okay, so our next, next speaker is Gail Ager. But in 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower gave me to Veterans Day, so that we may all honor all veterans. Our next student speaker is Jeffrey. No clues. Today we are honored to welcome our guest speaker, Sergeant Summer Bennett, to our school today. Good afternoon, North. Good afternoon, visitors, guests veterans past and future. Welcome to today's ceremony and thank you for attending uh, North's first annual Veterans Day program. I'm United States Army Sergeant Summer Bennett, but most importantly, I'm James Bennett's mom. James Bennett is a second grader in Ms. Del Soro's room here at North. I am honored to be speaking with all of you today on such an important uh, occasion for me and many across the country. We are here today to honor my brothers and sisters in arms past and present, remembering the sacrifices made and the courage it takes to defend honor, duty, and country. We honor our heroes who join us today, their families, and those who are here only in spirit, to remember their achievements, their courage, and dedication, and to say thank you for their sacrifices. Let's please pause for a moment of silence to honor the veterans that have made the ultimate sacrifice. Veterans we honor today come from all walks of life, but they share, they all share several important qualities. They possess courage, pride, determination, 
<clears throat> selflessness, dedication to duty, and integrity. All of the qualities needed to serve a larger cause, a larger cause than oneself. Not all veterans have been to war, but many, like myself, have served in war. I've spent many months in Baghdad, Iraq, and I have to tell you, the worst part of the war isn't the war itself. It's being away from my family. Even today, the worst part of my military duty is when I have to leave my family. I'm sure every veteran and veteran's families can relate to that, having experienced it themselves. Right now, as we gather here today, thousands of soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and coast guardsmen are on the job around the world protecting America. As an Army soldier, my thoughts turn today to moms and dads, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, who are deployed around the world, around the clock, protecting and defending America's, um, America on the world's oceans. These service members on ships, submarines, aircrafts, and on the ground to Afghanistan and Iraq, and many places across the globe. They will be there when we go to sleep tonight. They will be there on Saturday, on Sunday, and on every holiday this year. And they will be missing their families and friends, loved ones back home. <coughs> For those veterans here today, please share the stories with others. Let them know, let the people know what you've done so they can see the many faces of the military and appreciate the personal service of their neighbors. If you're not a veteran, like many of you sitting down are, find someone in your life that is a veteran and ask them about their service or simply say thank you. The more we talk about what we do and the impact military service has on our lives, the better able we are to hold it up as an example of, as an example of excellence. To all of the veterans here today, I sincerely thank you for your service and your sacrifice. I share the pride you feel in being able to say that you have served the greatest military in the world. Thank you, for all, thank you all for choosing to honor veterans today and show your support of our heroes past and present. May God bless our veterans, may God bless all those serving in harm's way, and may God continue to bless America. Thank you.
Some lost new friends, some lost their lives, and long in the wars, other veterans answer their call. To support the ones who fought, their country had requirements for the essential skills they brought. Next student speaker, Sabrina Hill. This Veterans Day, we salute each and every one of them, the noble and the brave, the ones still with us here today, and those who rest in the grave. So here's to our country's heroes. They're cut above the rest. Let's give the honor that is due to our country's very best. Our, new student, our next student speaker is Amy Anna Thank you to our honored guests, parents, and families. Thank you to our honored guests and keynote speakers. Sir, <sighs> Sergeant Summer Bennett, thank you to all of the students and teachers who were involved in today's program. We would most especially like to thank our veterans for being here today. If you are a veteran of the Armed Forces, could you please stand so that we, could, we may recognize you at this moment? Thank you again for your service and thank you for coming. 